Hi everyone, it's Lindsay here from So Sweet Samuel and welcome back to day two of Vlogmas 2022. It's the 2nd of December. Um, I hope you enjoyed what I put out yesterday. Um, I do apologise, my videos are not very professional. Obviously I can't do all the fancy editing and and that. I've tried that in the past on some of my videos and sometimes it works and sometimes they just never, I do it all, all singing, all dancing and then they just don't upload to YouTube. So. I've given up so you get me warts and all <laughs> Milo barking and 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 uh, everything so but I had a lovely evening last night we uh, picked Samuel up from school he does football on a Thursday so he doesn't finish till quarter past 20 past four so I picked him up from the football and for the last couple of weeks we've been treating ourselves and we've been going to the chip shop and we've been buying a portion of chips and then been having that for our tea in the evening because um, Mark goes and sees his mum on a Thursday evening, so we've just been doing that. Um, so my hair up. So um, we did that, but we took the chips around to my mum's, and Samuel had egg chips and vegetables, and we had ham egg and chips. So that was really nice. And then we were back home here by about six o'clock. So just after six, we played a game. We played up words at my mum's with my mum and my sister, and then we were back here around about six I would think and Samuel had a bath and I watched quite a lot of vlogmas there's some really good ones out there much better than this um waffle so I've got some things to show you I didn't actually wind up my skein of wool um that I got yesterday from ugh, green lambikin yarns um, but I do now know what I'm going to do with this and it's the Bex Norman she's married now so I think she's Bex Dickinson or something um, she released quite a long time ago the snow day cow um, and that just takes five grams I kept calling them milligrams yesterday I think I was trying to mix minis and grams five grams so these are 10 grams so I'm, I'm going to repeat the pattern repeat each section twice but I think that will look really pretty so that was yesterday's one so when I'm finished with you now I will wind that up and make a start I'm just going to tell you what tea I'm drinking. Um, where's the tea gone? What have I done with it, Milo? It's here. So I've just made myself throughout December, well, probably from early November, I swap all my mugs over and we have all Christmas themed mugs. So this one shows you the 12 days of Christmas. I think it was just a Sainsbury's one. But I'm drinking, you want to go in the lounge now? Sorry. His Royal Highness. Let's go in the I'm drinking a tea from Twinings and it's called Christmas tea and it's a loose leaf tea. It's a black tea and I don't know if you're to see inside but can you see in there? Oh, not very good is it? You can't really just see a black blodge. Um, what's it say on there? It's got spices. I can't read it. Oh, I can't read it. Orange peel and something else. Some other. But it tastes almost like um, a mulled wine in a uh, cup of tea form. It's really nice. <coughs> and it's quite reasonable. Um, um, Some nice, like, waitress and things, they might sell this. But um, our waitress is a little bit of a trick for me with Milo and everything. I don't like leaving him in the car or at home for too long. So I tend to buy this online from Twinings and it's really nice. Fun now. <laughs> it's a really nice tea. So drinking that. Milo! Shh. Milo! Um, I had another advent calendar that I didn't show you yesterday and I'm not going to bore you with this every day. But if you want something a bit different, this is my second year of having the Bon Mama jam advent calendar. Um, I don't think I'll have it again next year because the first gift that you got yesterday, so you get a gift on day one and on day 24. Milo, shh, he's barking at that stag again. Come here. The gift yesterday was the same, it's a little silver jam spoon. Milo, Milo, what's this? Do you these? Do you these? Come on then. But the jam was lovely, it was strawberry jam with star anise. Let's just find number two, because I haven't had this yet. I might have this for my lunch today. There's number two. And the theme is all circus. The picture's all circus. It's really pretty. Oh, 
little bit of jam. And this is oh, pepper mousse and fruits de dragon. So it's um, oh, uh, grapefruit and dragon fruit. So that would be really nice actually. Might have that one. Probably on toast. But it's, they're all different types of jams that you can't buy in the shop. But they're really nice. Milo! Sorry, I'm going to have to get him. Have a look at my decorations. Can we stop? Stop barking at the stag. Come on, you boozy. Yeah, should we get rid of him? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Okay, bad stag. This is what's causing all the upset. Bad stag. So we're going to get rid of him. Oh dear, sorry about that. Oh, he's probably going to start moaning about. No, Milo, stop. Now he's got a toy under the sofa. He's going to be a pain. Sorry, I do apologise. So, yeah, I'm going to have that jam later on. Milo, Milo, come here. Can we get this toy? Look, you've got this one. What's this? Nice toy, and this nice toy. Ready, steady, go. I thought it was going to be all right today because we've had a nap, we've had a walk. So, green lambkin yarns. Oh, I just love this. So pretty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Clearly, I need to get out more. Oh, look at this. Look at that colour. Isn't that going to go nice with yesterday? Just look at that. That says, what's it say? And for me, some scarlet ribbons. Oh my goodness. And it's all got sparkling. And the little gift today, oops, is a gorgeous stitch marker. It's got um, little snowflakes on. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I just love that. Look at that. Oh, that is just so my colour. I love pink. Pink and sparkly, as you can see from my Christmas jumper. <laughs> When I was teaching, when I was in school, I had a different Christmas jumper for every single day of December. So you will get to experience my different jumpers every day of December. <laughs> oh, I just love that. That's beautiful. Right, I should definitely be winding those up today and um, starting that snow day cow because that is just glorious. Oh, I love it. It's so soft as well. Oh, I can't wait to do that. Okay, <clears throat> let's do Midnight Diary next. So it's Midnight Diary. Let's find number two. There's number two. Oh, nice green one again. This says Christmas tree. Deep, dark, rich greens and browns. What more can I say? So that's a nice dark green one. So this would work as well as the as the uh, snow day cow, because they're all going to have to be, well, I hope they're all going to blend together. So that's a nice one from Midnight Diary. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Are you playing? Are you playing toys? Let's quickly do dandelion and dogwoods, because I do want to come on and start showing you what I've got done so far. So dandelion and dogwoods. Love you. Um, This says Roll Dahl Milo, and that's a lovely peachy, very dark, much darker peachy with little splashes of orange in. So this is going to look beautiful for what I plan to do. I can't remember the name. I have got it on my Ravelry page, so I will let you know what I'm going to do. But I want to open a few more of those to, to make the actual decision. And here's my lovely... Rabbit. I haven't thought of a name for her yet. She's definitely going to be a girl. I'll show you last year's one. This is last year's one that came just as a plain bear. And every day you dressed her, excuse me, and just flash her knickers. She's even got little knickers with a little patch on her bottom. And you dressed her every day. And, um, and then on the last day, she had her stocking to hang up for Santa and a carrot. So she's called Lily. Paula asked last year what we wanted our rabbits, our bears to be called. So she's Lily. And she came with that little stocking. Um, so I need to think of a name for this one. So if anybody's got any suggestions for a little name that would go with Lily. So let's have a look in Paula's box for day two. 
Day two, day two, day two. Should have found this earlier. Found day three, found tomorrow. Day 11. Day two, ah, okay. It's the same as last year then. So, I'm afraid you've got to be naked, probably naked a little bit longer. So day two, wrapped up in this gorgeous centre paper. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. A lovely Christmas pod project bag. Can you spot Bunny's cousins? Oh, just look at that. Isn't that just heavenly? Oh, I looked. Oh, look. Oh, no, that's a squirrel. <laughs> Don't know my animals. <laughs> look, there's the little. Uh, Rabbits there, they, they've gone carol singing. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, with some red gingham and then lined. I've got last year's bags over there, I'll show you that tomorrow. That's just heavenly. And you know what, Paula? I'm going to keep my green lichen yarns in there. That is beautiful. Oh, I just love that. That's such soft fabric as well. Oh, that is heavenly. If you've never checked out Paula's bags on as uh, So Sweet um, Stitch by Mrs. D, you really need to. They are just gorgeous. So I should be winding those up. Okay, so what progress have I made? Oh, I've still got one more to show you, haven't I? Shish! So my sock, I did a little bit more of my sock yesterday. I didn't do a lot, but I'm now on to this gorgeous um, pink. I've just done that gorgeous pink, and I'm now on this lilac -y colour and it is it is absolutely lovely really like that so but that's gonna have to go away for the time being because I'm gonna be casting on the other thing and then yesterday <clears throat> I was I did carry on in the afternoon making uh, sewing together some more hexes as another hot water bottle cover so that's the top part and then I've sewn together the bottom pieces. So I just now need to stitch those all together to make another hot water bottle cover. Um, I've slowed down on those a bit, not because I'm not enjoying them, because I really, really am, but because I've been, I've had an had a industrial injury. Um, my hair up in I've had an industrial injury in my finger. Now I do a lot of hand sewing and Kay gave me this finger guard, um, which is just like a silicone thing that you use when you're sewing. But it fits on my thumb better. But I was using that, but I kept getting a hole in my, I won't show you, a hole in my middle finger. And it was really slowing me down with my stitching. And then I had to go and buy some new plasters yesterday. And in the box, you had the useless dotty plasters that you used to have when you had a blood test. So I thought, oh, that will work, actually. So I took one of those out, and I can't show you because it's my middle finger. And I put that on the tip of my middle finger, and it really worked a treat. I was able to sew the rest of those. So top tip, free top tip from me. <laughs> so I've got another bag of hexes started to be glued together. So I'm going to work on that as well today. And then the other thing I did finish yesterday, um, and I don't think no matter how small they are i really don't think i'm going about oh i didn't no i didn't even finish it i thought i had i've done quite a lot of the bell it is nearly finished but not quite there so shall i show you what this picture is for today and if i've got a pair of scissors we could cut that out and stick that on for today so let's find number two see i'm not very organized i should have this all this sorry they are fairly organized there's number two milo i do apologize for him um, the reason I didn't get this finished, really, was I, the light wasn't good enough in the front room. Um, and I wear contact lenses, but I'm better off with glasses on for close work. So this time it's going to be, well, I don't know what you'd call them. Thing. So I'm going to cut off, as I said to you yesterday, I cut off some of the excess just because it's then easier. Because if you see on these circles on this tree, Milo, shh, Milo, where's Zippy? Where's Zippy? 
when you come to <clears throat> when it's all stitched i don't know if you can see there's a dotty line around each circle that you're going to have to stitch on and if you've got some of the solvey milo <gasps> who's in the garden a betty a betty in your garden like a betty um it's just easy not to have the excess sorry he's really been a pain so there's my little shape and number two is here so i'm just going to stick I have to put it down, sorry. Stick number two into that circle and that will be ready to be stitched. So the bell is nearly done. I've just got this little bit of red here to finish off and then I can start this one. So I need to keep the picture for that one. And I'll pop that back in my bag. Um, and I think that's all I've got to show you today. I do want to move... Uh, because uh, I can't do, you know, I can't video a walk and, and then piece it all together. I just can't do that. Um, I do want to maybe just focus on all the crafting I'm going to be doing over Christmas. So I will show you my adverts each day. But what I might start doing is have them out ready just to show you what's what. And then I just really want to show you what I've done each day. Tomorrow's Saturday, so Samuel's got his dancing in the morning. <clears throat> so we'll be out at dancing to about half half eleven twelve 12 o'clock he hasn't got a private tomorrow she's got to have two classes milo um and then i've got a friend popping around milo stop please um so i want to try and get samuel on the camera at some point to have a chat with you as well but if it's okay with you i think maybe i'm just going to show you things i make and do throughout vlogmas if that's okay because it is really, my channel is all about the crafting I do. So I think that would make good sense. The other thing I'm doing, and we'll hopefully get started this week. It's Friday already. I've cut myself out a dress to make. So I would like to get that done so I'm able to wear that. Okay, well, my phone's ringing now. So um, I will see you all tomorrow for day three. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye.